Hello, Kyle here. Have you ever wondered how exactly you incorporate art theory into an art project? So I'd like to show you one very concrete example of how Brad and myself did this recently. You may remember a ton of videos that were posted about a project called the Moray Box. Um, this was the summer project between Brad Blucher and myself. We decided to do one very formal, official video about this. So anyway, we did this video that shows Brad and myself talking about our project. How can you possibly work art theory into just a simple demonstration video? Well, if you haven't seen the video yet, please click a link and watch it. If you've seen the video, you know that there's a little bit of a, a comical payoff at the end where it goes from us being all well-dressed and presenting ourselves professionally to me looking like an immature child, just, you know, with my tongue out, just banging around with stuff. It's kind of goofy. Um, remember, the idea for that ending and the way I presented it actually came from this book called Chromophobia. Uh, there's a lot of good ideas in this book. I'm not necessarily saying I believe they're true or I, are, or I agree with them. However, I do think it presents interesting ideas. The primary one being the way that Western civilization seems to treat um, minimalism and just blank whiteness as the epitome of refined class. And it sees bright colors as being um, you know, garish, infantile, feminine, unsophisticated, childish. Uh, it's just bright color seems to look, is, is looked down upon, where sort of minimalist, black, white, grayscale, just clean, is seen as being refined and elegant and sophisticated and mature. So um, I wanted to use that aspect um, to inform the way I designed this video. So if you look at the wardrobe we're wearing for the most of it, it's very minimal. I'm, I'm wearing dark navy blue, Brad is wearing purple. When I was editing the video, I ran a bunch of filters to actually reduce the saturation as much as I could without making it look like I had done a lot of post work. I wanted this to be a very minimal thing. Whereas when you go to the scene at the end in my studio, I made a point of just putting as much clutter as I could, but also aiming for colorful clutter. And then in post, I ramped up the saturation as much as I could before I felt it would be too obvious. I didn't want the audience to watch the video and think, this part is black and white, therefore it's artsy, this part is in color, therefore it's, you know, a crass snapshot. But I wanted that effect to still hit you subconsciously without, you know, shoving your face in it. It's not like the, the theory is the foundation of the video by any means. However, it's just a simple way it's Art theory doesn't have to weigh you down. You can think of it as sort of a, a creative well that you can draw upon. You can have an idea 95% of the way there, but when you've seen other artworks and you've read the writing, it gives you a, a well that you can draw two or, little, or three little things out of to perhaps enhance your own work or give it that little bit extra. And the video would have worked just fine without it, but it's an example where I think a little bit of art theory made it just that little bit stronger. And that is one of the ways that I put art theory in practice.